can do a back and biceps routine, yeah? <laughs> So, um, just got my message from Pete. Ian, mate. So we're just gonna go outside and we're gonna go and meet up Pete. Get our session in, let's go. The last time I met Pete, don't know when it was. Probably a barber show, but we didn't really speak much. <laughs> there he is. Hello, brother. Hello. How are you? Uh, good, good. Mm -hmm. good to see you. Very good, how are you? I'm oh, good, mate. You fucking look amazing. <laughs> so, so good. Feel good? You do too. Yeah, yeah. Feel yeah? Really good, mate. Cool. Pure muscle gym in East London. You've got the rings, you've got the bars, obviously, where you're going to be doing some muscle ups later. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've got the boxing area as well. Yeah. But I'll come and show you uh, the gym itself, show you the area where we're going to be working out. So, downstairs areas, they've got all like the dumbbells and all the fruit areas. They've got all the cable machines. So, they've got all this downstairs area here. So, obviously, all the benches and all that. And then, so we go upstairs now. No, it's sick, isn't it? And then, yeah, you just got all this upstairs area here. These are your treadmills over here, and you can go for your walk afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, we can obviously mix it up. I can do a back and biceps <laughs> routine, yeah? I'm scared, I'm scared. So we are here at Pure Muscle Gym in East London with my boy Pete, all the way from Liverpool. We're just gonna smash out this session. We're just gonna ask questions about the journey, uh, his journey as well as my journey, because obviously we have something very, very much in common. We basically both used to be fat. And we can say that yeah, because yeah. we was. And now we've obviously lost a lot of weight and wanna go through your routine. So go on, so we're doing back biceps, yeah? yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. So how, how, how long are you down the gym for? Like initially? So get me weights done within an hour. An hour and 15 tops. And then uh, me half an hour cardio at the end. So an hour and a half, an hour and 45 with, with the cardio. Like. Obviously, last time I saw you was at the show real quick. Yeah. Obviously, we said hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you said to me early on, you started this, what, 2020? August 2020. But you've always been into training, eh? No? Yeah, so I did athletics when I was a kid. I was on the Great Britain team as a shop putter. Before I was 20 or early 20s, I stopped shop putting because I started barbering. How old are you now? 37, 38 in a couple of months. Same age as me then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Old men. Yeah. <laughs> Old men, but we're still doing shit, right? That's it, yeah. Up until the age of like 19, 20, you was doing shopping. So look, what happened from the age of 19, 20 to 35? Was it when you started? Yeah. 35, 36? I started, I started cutting hair, started being a barber. Wanted to go out and have drinks. Didn't really drink when I was younger. Started smoking. I started eating shit because like the work days are long and hard, aren't they, barbering? I don't know, I just fell into bad habits early. Up until I started doing this, I was drinking seven or eight bottles of wine a week. Had you always been a big kid? When I was 15, I was about 17 stone, which is what I am now. So then when you start the barbering, that's when it changed and then you just started slipping yeah. into bad habits. Just eating what I could, when I could, grabbing things, yeah. going out drinking on the weekend. Yeah. So from, from the age of like 20 to 35, had you still been going to the gym or anything or? I tried a couple of times, like got into it a couple of times, loosely at like 20s. I started seeing the weight creeping on and I was thinking, fuck, I need to do something here because I'm, I'm getting fat. I lost a load of weight, I lost about five or six stone, but it just didn't last long like I was... Was that because of the way you was doing it or because? Yeah. It was just like a quick fix really, I think. It wasn't like sustainable or I didn't look at it as being like a, a lifestyle change. I looked at it as just like, fucking hell, I need to lose weight, what can I do? Yeah. So at that point, what was you doing? Did you just not eat much? Just do a load of cardio? Just followed like a low calorie diet. One of those quick fixes, you lose a shitload and then when you get yeah. back to eat normal, did that. Yeah. It's interesting hearing your story. So as a kid, I was always a fat kid, and then it took an ex to split off me to decide, right, okay, I need to sort my shit out. Started training down the gym. It wasn't really sustainable because I didn't really follow like a proper routine. Yeah, I didn't yeah, understand yeah. about diet or anything yeah. like that. And then put on the weight, and then I kind of like yo-yoed with it all. Then lost the weight again, and then put it on. And now it's sort of like 2019 for me is when I started my journey and I was just like, right, I need to fucking sort this shit out. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I think, you know, you hit the nail on the head. It's not just about having something as a quick fix, it's making it and turn it into your lifestyle. Going to the gym, working out, eating healthy, like I'm brushing my teeth. It's part yeah, of my routine, yeah, yeah. that's all it is, you know. You started again, 2020. So tell me about that then. So how did that start? I mean, Pete, I'm sure you don't mind me saying this. You were fucking massive. You were big, bro. Big, 24 stone, 300 and what, 330 pounds, I think I was, or 350 pounds. Again, relatable to me, you know, you've got a kid. Yeah. Like, you know. That, that was what, that was what made me think, fucking hell. So I had like six months of having him, and obviously he wasn't moving about, he wasn't doing anything, but I started thinking, fucking hell, when he's on the floor, yeah. Imagine me chasing him around, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be sweating, I'm gonna be knackered, mm -hmm. and I'm still a young fella, I, like I can't, I don't wanna be doing that. That was my driving thing, I just thought, 
I'm gonna do it for, for River. Deep down inside, you wasn't happy within yourself. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the that, that was the primary thing. It was me. I wasn't happy with. I hated how I looked. I hated like how I, how I felt. I was anxious all the time. And I was just yeah. And I knew fucking hell, I need to do something here. Do you know what I mean? And I, I did a, I did a podcast episode with the lad Matt who was training me. At the end of it, we stayed on Zoom and we were like. He said to me, come on, let's do something. You know, why don't you start? I'll train you. And that was the day I started. Like, I thought, fucking, I'm doing it. I had questions for him and I was like, I said, I've done this before though and I've got to a certain point and, you know, I've given up or I don't think I could ever have abs or I don't think I could ever look athletic. And he was like, mate, you can do whatever the fuck you want. The problem is, is there's too many people that will make those excuses. I don't have time. My body's not designed to yeah. look like that. Yeah. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to eat. Yeah, I don't, yeah. the, the, the one that I always hear is the time thing. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. one thing I always say, I don't have enough time. People ask me this question, how did you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, two simple things. Yeah. Balanced diet yeah. and I trained. Same. Yeah, yeah. That is, there is no, no, no yeah, there's no secret, there's no magic pill to it. There is no secret to losing weight yeah. and getting in shape. That's it. It's just yeah. that hard work and just having the mindset yeah. of doing it, right? So the way that you train is very much focusing on technique and really engaging in your muscles and what you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the goal initially was to lose weight, get into shape. Now t to tell me now, because you've taken it to the next extreme. Yeah, yeah. Like, how many weeks are you out now for your first bodybuilding show? 11, 11 weeks old. So, so tell me about the balance that you've got at the moment. You're a barber, you have a kid, you travel, you know, you do all these and you're training for a show, yeah. you know, so how do you juggle everything? Because, you know, you're, you're trying to fit in your nutrition, you're trying to fit in like your training, you're trying to fit in your steps, you're saying you need to do 13,000 steps. Yeah. How do you manage that all and how do you juggle it? I think just prioritising things, making sure that, like you said, my, the 24 hours in a day are all accounted for, do you know what I mean? Lockdown, as I say, taught me that like, you've got to give yourself time, you've got, you know, work's not the be all and end all of life. So more time for yourself, yeah. and focusing on the stuff that you enjoy doing. River's my, my number one thing in life now. You know, after him, I'd say me training comes next, and then work. Man, it's true what they say though, health is wealth. I've heard David Goggins saying, it's like, I'm training for life, bro. This is the thing, it's like, I think with training, the aesthetics behind training is the reward from it. Yeah. But the actual proper reward is actually that feel good factor. Yeah, and the mental side, yeah, the mental yeah. side to it. To my next question, about loose skin. Do you have loose skin? And, and how does that make you feel? Because I'm going to relate to you after you've answered this, I'm going to say how I feel. It's the first thing that was in my head. Because if I lose a load of weight, I'm going to have, a, lo I'm going to have a, lo a load of loose skin. In my head, I used to contemplate, is it better to be fat or to have loose skin? And it was like a fight in my head I had with myself. So, so, you, so in your head, you was like, am I better to be fat than lose the weight and have loose skin? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And I used to think it all the time. I used to think, to me, it'll never go fully back because of how big I got, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I spoke to a lad in the gym and he was 24 stone. I don't know what weight he is now, but he looks fucking incredible. He's a PT in our gym. He uh, openly talked on his social media about, um, about loose skin and him having a surgery on it. Oh, did he have a tummy tuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looks, he looks brilliant. And I thought, well, maybe that's an option. You know, if, 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 if I feel like I need it, I'd, look in, I'd go down that route. How, um, how is that at the moment? It's not too bad, it's, I've got, Got it round the bottom here. So, do you know? Do you know? It's one. Of, it's one of those ones I don't mind sharing it with you. It's yeah, the same yeah. with me as well. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the fighting battle that I have. When you're bigger, like you're puffed out a bit more, yeah, so you yeah, don't yeah. see it as much. So you're like, oh, actually, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. But then it's like you'll find, obviously, when you start like really leaning yeah, out, yeah. then you start seeing it, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. when you then think to yourself, right, w w what's my options? That's it. Yeah. And I'm sure you've heard it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, yeah, it's fine. It. Like, it, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. and I get it all the time, like, you know, from my wife, from my friends. Yeah. But the problem is, it's like, in here, yeah, that's yeah. what fucks my head up. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm thinking, fucking hell, like, I want those physiques that yeah, those guys yeah, have yeah. got. I train so it's fucking hard. Talking. Yeah. And it's like... Oh, I think, I think to me, I think that's to myself. And I think, um, you know, I'm putting all this work in. Even in another year's time, am I, am I going to feel comfortable to go on the beach and like just walk down my top off? Or... Right, so Pete, so tell me um, if anyone wanted to do this, because I'm sure you get a lot of DMs, what type of advice would you give people if they wanted to, not necessarily get into like bodybuilding, but like... Yeah, lose weight. Or... Yeah, lose weight, get in shape. I'd say do it now. Do you know what I mean? So, so no time like the present, yeah. yeah. So many people I speak to say, Oh, I've got a wedding in eight weeks and then I'm going to start. Or um, work's manic at the moment. Get this busy spell out the way and then I'll start. And I say to them people, it might be another 12 months till you start. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Start now. When people ask me, they're like, you know, how do I start? It's now. Yeah, just yeah. start now. Stop saying it. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it.
having that mindset to be like, right, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to yeah. do it proper. And do it for yourself as well. Don't do it for anybody else. Like, I think if you if you're doing it for somebody else, then there's more you're more likely to slip off or to call it a day once you get to a certain point. Whereas if you're doing it for yourself, as soon as you get that feel good factor and you think you imagine the rest of your life feeling like you do now, then you'll stick at it. Do you know what I mean? I, I, that's the way I look at it. Like. Pete, thank you so much for coming down, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks. I'm going to leave you to go and walk for half an hour now because you need to get your steps in. So, Pete, tell the audience what your Instagram handle is and all your socials. At Pete J. Cranfield. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you on next time. Thank you. Don't, don't burn yourself out. No, I won't. I'm better with, I'm better with gripping that way rather than like. Right, okay, Pete, we're going to do a little challenge now. Right, how many max pull-ups do you think you can do? How many you reckon? I'll go for five. Five, yeah? All right, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go on this bar up here. And you're going to do five pull-ups. I'm going to do five muscle-ups. Just for balance and just because we can. You can probably reach that bar. This one here? Or do you want to go on that one? I'll go, you go first, I don't know. I haven't even got my chalk on me. Shit, man, I need chalk. I haven't got my chalk. Shit, man, I ain't got no chalk. Oh, fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, chalk. Yeah, catch me. Mate, that looks way too easy. It's not easy because I haven't got chalk. Right, five pull-ups. No rest, five pull-ups. You can do it. There we go. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Four. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Five, come on, let's go. Big drive, come on, push. One, come on. Two. Put. Big pull. Right, last one. Last one, big drive. Push. Pull up. There we go. You're heavy, boy. Thank you so much, man. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, I feel pumped. <laughs> There you go, that was for you.